seems really cool. If we have the sum of the first n positive odd numbers and divide that by the next n odd numbers, we will always get one third. Always. Here's why. First, let's note that the sum of the first n positive odd numbers is given by n squared. As we can see, they make squares. So for example, 1 plus 3 plus 5, that's the sum of the first three positive odd numbers, and that makes 3 squared. We see a 3 by 3 square over here. Now, what about the sum of the next n positive odd numbers? Well, let's take a look at the example where n is equal to 2. So we're looking at the sum of the first two odd numbers and the next two odd numbers. So to see what 5 plus 7 is in relation to n, well, notice that if this is our n by n, well, we would double each side length. So we have 2n by 2n. So the area of this shape is 2n quantity squared. But we need to chop off the original n squared here because we're only curious about 5 plus 7. So we have 2n quantity squared minus n squared. Now, 2n quantity squared can be rewritten as 4n squared. And 4n squared minus 1n squared is 3n squared. So the sum of the first n positive odd numbers is given through n squared. And the sum of the next n positive odd numbers is given through 3n squared. So we have the ratio of n squared to 3n squared, which simplifies to a 1 to 3 ratio. So that's why we would always get 1 third. And I really love that we can see this visually. We can see 1 plus 3 plus 5 over here, and we can see that we could just copy this three times to get the 7 plus 9 plus 11. So with this part to part ratio, we can see that it would be a 1 to 3 ratio.